Former agency operative Rico Rodriguez. Up to this point, his whereabouts have been unknown since our withdrawal from Medici. Responsible for deposing half a dozen heads of state. The Black Hand have encountered him before in San Espirito, where he assassinated our employer, President Salvador Mendoza. We fought him again in Medici, where he overthrew Sebastiano Di Ravello. Though the agency had some involvement, and this is his handler, Tom Sheldon, we've learned Rodriguez's motivation for liberating Medici was personal. You have briefed me on this man before, Commander Morales. We're preparing a test. Can we cut to the chase, por favor? Of course, Señor Spinoza. Intelligence suggests that he is the son of Miguel Rodriguez. My Miguel Rodriguez? Hmm. Huh. And? And he's here, in Solis. Now. So, that's my father's super weapon. Project Tiapa. He was a kind man, my father. A scientist. Doesn't make sense he would build such a thing. My uncle was a good man too. And they both ended up dead. Lots of questions, hmm? Time to get some answers. You can't do this alone. I have people who can help us. Here, I've done this kind of thing before. This is different. I can handle some bad weather. It's more than bad weather, Rico. If you would just listen to me... Mira, a plan is a list of things that go wrong. I like to keep my list short. Just be ready. When I patch you into that console, you'll have to find Espinosa quickly. He answers my questions. We destroy Project Diapa. Plan. Hmm? Where? Buena suerte. Oscar Espinosa, better be ready to talk. He's unlikely he has survived this long. This is not an ordinary man, Senor Espinosa. See, we might as well make sure. See, si, Senor Espinosa. Let's see what Project Diapa can do, shall we? Senor. Take a few moments for the core to reach full power. Do you think you can keep him occupied until then? This is Commander Morales. We have a threat on sight. Activate Iapa's defenses. Engage all artillery towers. That woman with Rico at the airport. Is that who I think it was? See? Deal with that, please. With pleasure. Respond. Mira. Come in, Rico. Please respond. Mira. Rico. I Dios mio, you are alive. I lost your GPS. See, si, my grappling hook's broken. So is my wingsuit. Parachute. Maybe a few ribs. I'll need to make repairs. I have tools at El Abismo. What's your location? 
A forest? I don't know. I'm sending you my coordinates. Hope it works. Got it. I'll see you soon. Shit. You look awful. Agua? The Black Hand are casing the village. Does that happen often? Almost never. Maybe somebody attacked their weather base. Yeah. Tools? Gracias. I don't think I could take Project Diapa alone. I agree. I'm saying I was wrong. You were right. Is that a distress signal? I didn't think you were with the agency anymore. Help me with this. What do we do about Iapa? Between the blizzard and those artillery towers, I can't get close. I have a couple of ideas. Tell me. Wait. Listen. Your actions in the next few minutes may determine the fate of this community. I am Commander Morales. I have tolerated El Abismo for years. To maintain order and justice in Solis, I've allowed this place to serve as a refuge for the criminal and the disenfranchised. But last night, a terrorist attack was launched against the Project Iyapa facility. The culprit was abetted by a conspirator from this village. Who is that? Gabriela. She killed my uncle when I was a girl. She knows we're working together. If Mira Morales is not surrendered to me immediately, I'll be forced to conduct an exhaustive investigation. Every home will be searched. Every citizen's identity will be checked. And all transgressions will be harshly prosecuted. <laughs> you! Luis! Where is Mira? Where? I have to stop this! Gabriela! Let him go, cousin! At least you aren't a coward. Your father would be disgusted with the monster you've become. You two traitors can discuss your disappointment together, in prison. Lord to my chopper! Mira! Oh,
I think we just started a rebellion. We didn't have to drag these people into this. They are what we need to put down Project Diapa. Well, they'll need more guns. Eso. There's a factory down the road from here. Abandoned. Casquillos vacíos. He used to manufacture black hand weapons years ago. Let's check it out. Luis, right? Organize these people. Anyone who wants to fight the black hand gets to fight. Show up for it, Sargento? Si, senor. Mira, I need to make sure my gear is working. I'll meet you at the factory. You got us those guns just in time. They black hand are deploying their forces across the river. We won't be able to advance the line without more fighters. Any ideas? We became soldiers after what you did in the slums. Create more chaos. More recruits will come. A whole army of chaos. This is what you wanted from the start. Oscar Espinosa owns this island. The people can't fight him without losing their jobs, their homes. And even if they tried, what chance would they have against a black hand? We have a mutual goal, Rico. You help these people defeat the black hand, and we'll help you get to Oscar Espinosa. Okay, Mira. We'll do it your way. What's first? I got some ideas, Rico. I will ready your eyeball with more information. Whole army of chaos. Sure. Army of chaos. Load up the truck! We're leaving in 60 seconds! Did you organize this ambush? See, si. Most of the stuff he recovered is standard black ammunitions. But I also found some of these. We're not sure what they do. We didn't want to mess with them. Um, there's a bunch more left in the truck. Good, fine, Sohento. This could be useful. Anyone have a screwdriver? Are you adding that to your grappler? No hold us. You have to make do with whatever you find. What are you gonna do with that? Get chimba! Black hand are coming, Sargento! Mierda! Listo, I'll drive the truck. I've got a chopper nearby waiting to extract this. I'll make sure you get there in one piece. Gracias, parcero. We're moving out! Avi Huerta. Did you bring what I asked? See, si. your stash is safe for now. You want to put that gun down? It's not a gun, Senor Rodriguez. It's a relic. A figure of Otorongo. Mid 16th century. So, were you going to hit me with that? Hit you? <laughs> I was going to run away with it. To protect it. It's very precious. Hmm. See, si. the Black Hand were very interested in your collection. Yes, well, uh, the truth is a very powerful weapon. Oscar Espinosa fears that I will use it against him. And you really think what you find in Otorongo's tomb can help you take down Espinosa? Take down? Perhaps not. Discredit? Most definitely. And this is Otorongo's tomb? Oh, hardly. 
No, this is merely the tomb of his servant, Sumak. But I've been unable to proceed further without my retract motor. Did you bring it? <laughs> I see. Bueno. Let's begin. Just get it done! Hey, go sober up Charlie. Get him working on some new pages with the frogs. Hey, look at you, you handsome devil. Garland King, you've heard of me. No, but I've heard you can help the Army of Chaos. <laughs> Let's not worry about that now. Come on, walk with me. Rico, I love everything about you, man. The look, the swagger, the leather. You're an artist, my friend. The Da Vinci of violence. Which is why I need you for this picture. I don't see what that has uh, to do we'll with. We'll work out the details later. Hey, you see that barely floating rust bucket there? See. I need it to careen through the water. My stuntmen, bless their square jaws, they can take a left hook, but uh, they lack the touch of a true artiste. So here, you take these, and I want you and to- And I- da -da! Details. Just plant them on the rust bucket and send that baby straight to the great dry dock in the sky. King, what's this about frog? That has nothing to do with my story. Hey! Are you in? I suppose I could. Perfect! We'll get your agent a copy of the contract. You don't have an agent. We'll get you an agent. We're gonna do amazing things together, doll. Okay. Hey, Charlie! Fuck your story, all right? You know, that's the old way. We're gonna do something that's never been done. It's going easy. It's going. We're pushing forward, but none of that matters unless we can disable Yappa's defenses. Isi and I have been working on that. All of these facilities house prototype weather cores, and each core is connected to Yappa's defense network. Mm. Towers with artillery. See, si. if we can plant a virus in those weather cores, we can send a message up the network causing malfunctions in the tower's machinery. Everything breaks, boom, no more artillery. Then we just have the blizzard. One thing at a time, Mira. Tell me more about the facilities housing the weather cores. This is Zona Uno. It's protected by a sandstorm. Mira, here. Gracias, Izzy. What's that? Information on a place called La Masmora. It's a prison hidden in the desert. Something Gabriela said. I think my uncle Lanza might still be alive. And if he is, he's being held there. And, uh... He can help us get into Zona Uno? He helped your father build Project Iapa. Pira, hmm. if he's still alive, I'll find him. Here is Zona Trace. According to Izzy, he's not on the network, but I have an old friend, Cesar. He has a theory that might help us. Then let's hear what he has to say. And this is Zona Dos. We don't know much about that facility. Are you ever going to answer this? I'm not an agency man anymore. Rico, those coordinates are close. Look. Ay, that can't be a coincidence. I'll check it out. I'm sending you all the data you'll need to your AR lens. Good. Let's start hitting Oscar when it hurts. Tom Sheldon. Well, I guess you got my message. It's all clear, Mita. I'm on my way. Who's that? Why are you here, Sheldon? When you went dark after Medici, I figured I'd look through some of your old files, see where you might end up. It turns out your dad was working with Oscar Espinoza back in the day, something called Project Iapa. What do you know about Iapa? I know there's lots of buzz about Solis at the agency these days. Talk of weather modification technology, strategic atmospherics. 
course, once the higher-ups heard that I was looking at those Iapa files, I ended up on administrative leave. Guess I'm not the only one who doesn't trust Tom Sheldon. I know you're looking to take out Iapa, Rico. I've already done some of the legwork. You screw me over more than once in Medici. I don't want your help, Sheldon. Well, you're gonna need it. I did some snooping around Zona Dosa. <sighs> Turns out that place is constantly surrounded by a nasty lightning storm. Fried poor Annabelle here. That seems pretty suspicious to have a standing lightning storm like that, don't you think? This a friend of yours, Rico? Not exactly. Mira Morales, this is Tom Sheldon. I've known him for 20 years. He cannot be trusted. Buenas. Don't listen to this guy, senorita. Pleased to meet you. Uh, Rico and I were just discussing the situation with Zona Dos. And you know how to access the core? I don't know anything about the core, but I got a good idea how to get us past that lightning storm. Good luck with Annabelle, Sheldon. We'll figure something else out. He's got a plan, Rico. And we don't. Talk. Okay. Now there's a river that runs underneath the facility. I figure we use a boat to get close. You remember the Stingray base back in Medici? The same basic concept. Do you want to make a lightning-proof boat? Yeah, bingo. Now, I also hear there's a nearby research lab that's testing a way to harness lightning. Figure we find something there to protect the boat, spare us poor Annabelle's fate. You're talking about that facility in the mountains, Medio Lab. <laughs> you got it. And we could do the custom boat work at Prospero Astiero. Interesting. Yeah, coming around, aren't you? Why are you doing this, Sheldon? <laughs> well, because I owe you, Rico. You want to take out Iapa? I want to help you do it. Besides, we both know we can't have just anybody running around with a weather weapon, for God's sakes. You got a better idea? Shit. That's what I like to hear. So, we meet up at Medio Lab when we're ready? Sounds good. You know, for a minute there, I thought you were going to shoot me. <laughs> Not this time, Sheldon. Rico. Listen, Cesar, he, he doesn't spend much time around people. Not anymore. Hmm. This is a secret agent? Si, this is Rico. Mira says you have something to show me. Proof. Proof that none of the weather occurring in Solis is natural. <laughs> yeah. Come on, the back. I've got a... Who put that there? Uh, just one minute and I'll have this... Mm. I've been looking for that. Okay, uh, right here, and I'll plug this in. And... Okay, now to my... Remember, Cesar, stick to what we talked hey, about. See, see, okay, okay. Okay. The tornado that hit Nueva was the capital, ten years ago. Mina Vendoval a few months later. My plane. All destroyed by tornadoes. Tornadoes controlled by... the reptilians. Mierda, Cesar. Or the Nordics, but I've definitely ruled out the Greys. <laughs> no abductions. Mira. Cesar. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Watch this. How'd you explain that, huh? Appears out of nowhere, and moments later, a tornado forms around it. Look familiar? Play that again. You've seen it too, haven't you? Go on. I've I seen it here and here. This is near Yapa, and this is on a trace. An alien weather. A weather research facility. 
Both the Yapa and Sona Tres are funded by... Oscar Espinosa. The man behind it all. If he even is a man. Let's assume he is a man. Hmm? Do you think this UFO is a core we could use to hack into the Yapa network? If we can get to it, see. Si. <laughs> Impossible. It's inside a tornado. What if I dive down? Dive down. Into the eye of a tornado. So, how do we make it happen? I say, we start with this. Let's go over it one more time. Bien? <clears throat> okay. We need to trap and grow a tornado. To do that, we need the wing cannons from the alien weather lab to steer it to the capital. To know where to place the wind cannons. I will use the radar equipment at Ojo de la Pradera. I will need to follow and track the tornado. I'll drive the storm chaser. To build the storm chaser? Si, si. Uh, we need to bring some of the alien weather tracking equipment from the alien weather lab. Si, sir. From Zona Trace to Prisa Automobile. And when the time is right, the army disables the wind cannons protecting Mina Vendavala. That will allow the tornado to go towards Nueva Voz. Which the army will evacuate. We build a perimeter of wind cannons around Torre Espinosa. And we grow the tornado there until it's big enough. Then I jump in on Cesar UFO and do something. What do we think? He's <laughs> fucking nuts. <laughs> and that's why he's gonna work. Let's get it in by 0500, yeah? All right, we're ready, let's get going. The last of the storm chaser equipment is being loaded. What about the data I extracted? Did you learn anything? Cesar's UFO? I was right. It's one of the prototype cores, only this one is mobile. It works by disrupting the surrounding air temperature. And then this machine creates an artificial updraft, and... Moments later... A tornado rips to Solis. Espinosa is testing a weather weapon on his own people. And he tells us Yapa will be our salvation. <laughs> pues, we can't control the tornado core from here, but if you can plug this into the core's flight controller, then I can hijack it and remotely sever its link to the Yapa network. Do you need to be close for this to work? Ever fight near a tornado? Ever dive in the one? <laughs> Where is Cesar? I thought he would be here by now. Oh, I'm not sure he's ready for all this just yet. <laughs> we taking bets? Did you get everything I asked for? Claro que sí. Ultrasonic anemometer. Yes. Image console. Say so. CB antenna. All the gear you requested is good to go. Hmm? I'll fly. I'm not so sure about this. I'll fly the helicopter to Prisa Auto. Agale. You sound sure to me. Okay, but you've never flown with him. Let's go build a storm chaser. With the weather tracking equipment installed, it brings the total vehicle weight to 7,500 kilos. Very nice, windproof. But we still need to insulate the interior with tin foil. Uh, see, in the back. 
Why would we need to insulate this storm chaser with tin foil? Um, the reptilians have been documented using weaponized gamma radiation. Pero, tin foil won't help. You need at least two inches of lead shielding to stop gamma rays. Oh. Okay. Everyone back to work. She looks good. Composite plating. Do you want with tempered glass? I thought we needed an upgrade after they started shooting at us. Horsepower? 625. D does that happen a lot? Want me getting shot at? No, not really. Yes, all the time. You'll probably want to get used to it too, huh? Uh, how do I do that? I don't know. Get shot at more? <sighs> no tape deck. Didn't think it was important. You don't think music's important? Uh, I thought that building a tornado proof storm chaser was more important. Yeah, no, I, I guess music is important too, sure. Bueno. Let me know when she's actually ready, hmm? Okay, so I'll, I'll just put in a tape deck then and practice getting shot at more. I'm in position. Perfect timing. We've got a tornado. Bueno, give it the city. I'm already on it. Cesar, check in. Copy that. I'm following the tornado. Storm Chaser's performing beautifully. I'm on my way to Nueva Boss. See you soon. You hear that? Rico! The Black Hand are here! Rico! Say again. Mira, the Black Hand are trying to secure the wind cannons. Mierda. If we don't destroy them, they'll deflect a tornado and our plan is fucked. Continue to the city. I'll take care of the wind cannons. That was amazing! Yeah, you're pretty good at getting shot at. Now get to the vantage point. See, si, see. Si. I can't wait to see this UFO up close. Mira, Cesar's almost in position. You shall get to higher ground. The show's about to start. Torre Espinosa is down. <laughs> All right, stand by. Engaging cannons now. Wing cannons online. He's working! Good job, people. Good job! The Black Hand are attacking! We have to protect those wing cannons! There's too many of them! Hold your ground. I've got this. them off.
reinforcements. Not everyone has a wingsuit, okay?
Come in, Rico. <sighs> Lost him. Mira, look. Mira, I'm on the Tornado Corps. Uh, what am I looking for? Look for an access panel. It should be near the center of the core. believe this everybody come check this out oh you all doubted me but <laughs> now i have proof proof that the reptilians have infiltrated the highest levels of government proof that oscar espinosa hails from the alpha draconis system proof that no human could have created is this a usb port is this a usb port what kind of alien ship has a usb port yeah sorry cesar that thing is man-made but... Espinosa may not have been one of your lizardmen. Reptilians. But his UFO has killed hundreds of his own people. And now he's exposed. You've uncovered a real conspiracy, Cesar. Hey, guys. You're gonna wanna check this out. What is this? The Tornado Corps wasn't the only one that was mobile. This one was a prototype, but there's another more advanced device under construction at Iapa. Can you use this to disable the defensive node? <sighs> See, the virus is ready. We just need to send it. What are we waiting for? Yeah, I can. Can I be the one that sends it? You're good to go. Just hit enter. Take this, you non-alien motherfucker! Ponte Morales! Who are you? What's happening? Prison break. You need to come with me. I can't leave my work. We'll come back for it. Vente. Get on! Ah, gracias, Señor Rico Rodriguez. I believe you knew my father, Miguel. You're Miguel's boy? <laughs> I've seen pictures. I was sorry to hear about your father, Rico. He was a good man. I've heard differently. What do you mean? Tio! Pequeña! Oh. 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 I... I just can't believe it. I didn't think I'd see you ever again. Oh, me? Let me look at you. I thought I'd lost you forever, Tio. You need to get out of here. This place is no secure yet. Go with Mira. I'll catch up once we've taken the prison. Rico Rodriguez. How can I ever repay you? 
by helping me destroy Project Iapa and Oscar Spinoza. Anything for Miguel Rodriguez, son. My pequeños. <laughs> They've changed so much. I don't know where I went wrong with my Gabriela. <laughs> Sometimes family can surprise you. <laughs> Is that why you say your father was not a good man? He was one of the chief architects of a weapon of mass destruction. Not when we started, Rico. Project Iapa was meant to save lives. Imagine the ability to disperse tornadoes before they fall. <laughs> to bring rain to drought-stricken areas. Mm. Espinosa seems to have another agenda. Oscar. <laughs> he thought his father was squandering his family's fortune on this altruistic project. When he took over, he changed our direction. He wanted us to weaponize Iyapa's technology so he could sell it to the highest bidder. Come help me with this, por favor. But once we were working on a weapons project, your father stopped his work and he left Solis at once. Oscar sent my own daughter my Gabriella to arrest me. And my niece thought I was dead. So I ended up here, still working on a weather weapon, but now from a cell. You've been working on Zona Uno this whole time. <laughs> I had indeed. You ready, Tio? I believe so. Yes. Kill the lights. So, you have a plan, Lanza? As I said, I've been working on Zona Uno. Your father's departure sent Oscar back a decade. The bastard needed my help just to recover the time he lost. But I also built in a flaw. Flaw? A flaw that will allow us to access the core. But first, we need to get into Zona Uno. Its core was our first major breakthrough in weather modification. We thought the best place to test your father's theory was the desert. The result was total control of a sandstorm. Hmm. We're taking the train. We rode the train every day into Zona Uno. The sandstorms made travel difficult, but the tracks are still there. If we weigh the train down enough, the winds of the sandstorm won't affect it. Exactly, Mira. You'll need some heavy armor. There are armored trains at Estación Atalaya. We can probably get something there. We should be able to retrofit a standard train chassis. From Grand Central, we should be able to secure a train without too much trouble. Then we just need a place to do the adjustment somewhere near Zona Uno. Estación Perdida. Estación Perdida. We can do the work there. I think we have a train. That gets us into Zona Uno. But what happens when we get there? What's this flaw? The shielding there is segmented. I positioned it to Oscar as a failsafe. For ventilation? The shield opens to ventilate the sandstorm core if it overheats. And once the shield is open? That's where it gets interesting. Once the shield is open, I will need to personally climb the structure and manually release the locking clamps on the shield. Then we should be able to dismantle the power... What if... You put a giant gun on the train instead? A giant gun? See. Si. 
We shoot the armor once it's ventilated. The force of a large artillery shell should be sufficient to dislodge the shielding once it's been opened and leave the core intact. Well, what, you hadn't thought of that, Tio? <laughs> <laughs> Where do we get a gun like that? Prospero Torretas. They put some high-caliber weaponry on their torts. And once we shut off the armor? The core will be exposed. I'll hack in and disable one of Yapa's defense nodes. Okay. Let's get started. Hey, Rico. Nice teamwork, eh? Are you all right, Rico? Bien, Lanza. I think the cannon is going to work out just fine. I wish I could have seen it in action. You will. Is this it? Mm -hmm. According to the data you retrieved, the ion coil in here creates positive streamers which stimulate electrical storms. So it makes lightning? Uh, no. It creates a positive charge, which draws negative charges to it. So, lightning will strike the ion coil and not anything around it. So it absorbs lightning. How do we get it out of there? We need to get around the failsafe system. There are lightning rods protecting this area. Deploy those rods, and the failsafes release the coil. Lightning rods? I thought you said this thing absorbs lightning. If Mira says it'll work, it'll work. I know, I'm just messing with her. I'll go raise the lightning rods. He used to be a lot easier to get along with. We get along fine. <sighs> Come on, let's get inside. You look cold. Here. Work with me, kid. I'm living up to my end of the bargain. You and me? We've got a long way to go. How many deposed dictators later, and you're still the same asshole you were at 17? If I were 17, I wouldn't feel so banged up right now. You remember when you used to dress like a Mexican Johnny Cash? What's wrong with Johnny Cash? Nothing. There's nothing wrong with Johnny Cash. It's just not the most practical way to dress for a war. <laughs> Whatever you say, hula shirt. Well, there's nothing wrong with a hula shirt. Hey, just not the most practical way to dress for a war. Give me that. Mira's plan to use Oscar's own technology against him is inspired. <laughs> Destroying the network from the outside in. Genius. You were clearly a strong influence on her. I never apologize to you for continuing my work on Project Ayapa after your father left. Helping me take down Zona Uno is apology enough. I wish Miguel could see all you've accomplished here. You've grown into a strong man, Rico Rodriguez. And you are changing Solis for the better. I'm changing Solis, all right. We'll see if it's for the better. I'm sure we will. But first, Zona Uno. Zona Uno.
I'm plugged into the network. Do you want to do the honor, Steel? No. My work on Zona Uno is complete. I want to see what this program of yours can do. Where's Mira? We're ready to go. Needed elsewhere. She asked me to drive instead, which I'm assuming is her version of running the parent trap. A parent trap? Yeah, she's tricking us into working together as a team. <sighs> Come on. Let's get this iron coil to Prospero Astiero. Mind if I drive? I'd rather not end up wrapped around the capoc tree. You're not still sore about that fruit stand in Patagonia, are you? We got there. Eventually. Hey, move over. Oh, don't worry about that. I have some ideas for some modifications we can make. Nice shooting earlier. Thanks. Your people work fast. Now you and Mira got quite an operation going here. They just want things here to change. How's it feel? Having an army. He's growing on me. Seems like it. Well, I always thought leadership suited you, kid. We better make sure that boat has some firepower. Mir and I got it all under control. We'll uh, have her ship shape for you in no time. <laughs> what? Oh, hey, Rico. What do you want to name her? Truck or something. How about Thunderbarge? Be <laughs> both ready. See, si. and not a moment too soon. The Black Hand are setting up patrols all along the Rio and I. They're putting the pieces together. We're running out of time. Get airborne. When we reach Zona Dos, I'll disable the cord that's controlling the storm. As soon as this storm clears... I'll fly in and use the cord to access the Yapa network bringing down the defense node. Bueno, Sheldon, join with me. What do we know about the Lightning Corps' defenses? Well, aside from lightning? <laughs> uh, there's some shielding held in place by magnetic locks, but... We'll take care of the locks once we get in there. And we gave you that extra firepower you asked for. Could be useful. Hmm. 50 cal, mortar, anything else? You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Meet you there. You ready? Just like old times, amigo. And she'll be able to take out that defense note from there. She's good. Let's leave her to it then. I got something to show you. <sighs> okay. 
What is this, Sheldon? Well, when I was researching Solis and your father's situation, I heard about an old agency outpost used to be near here. Why didn't you tell me this before? Well, I didn't want to get your hopes up, but thought we might find something out about your old man. Now, this was his project, after all. Let's see here. I'd reckon. A surveillance outpost. This must have been where they kept tabs on the Ayapa project. Espinoza, your dad, and the weather technology. How long has the agency known about these? Here. This looks like a good place to start. Hey, still works. The Yapa project. This is interesting. What did you find? Surveillance footage. Your dad's name is in the file. Miguel Rodriguez. Play it. Do you have any idea what I sacrificed for Project Yapa? Miguel. No, I refuse to play part in this any longer. Good luck finishing Iapa without me or my work. If Miguel Rodriguez is allowed to leave this project, he'll be a serious liability. If we were to take care of that liability now, Lanza Morales' work on Zona Uno would suffer. No, let Miguel leave. Let Lanza hear that he reunited with his family. Then what? I have Black Hand in Medici under the command of Sebastiano Di Ravello, who, last I checked, is in the agency's pocket. I need to speak to General Di Ravello. <sighs> Thank you for your contribution to Project Diapa, Miguel. <laughs> Rico, I had no idea. You gotta believe me. It never made any sense why Di Ravello killed my parents. It was the agency and Espinosa using that idiot dictator's crew as a cover. How could you not know anything about this? I didn't know anything about Project Iapa or your parents or any of this back then. I was brand new at the agency. This sort of thing was way above my pay grade. I only had orders to save you. I'll tell you this, kid. You and me? We're gonna end Oscar Espinoza and take out Project Iapa together. I knew the agency was dirty, but... Look, why don't you head topside, get some fresh air. I'll keep snooping around here, okay? You let me know if you find anything else. Patched in and ready to go. You? Nothing to report. Everything okay? You sound... Bring it down. Okay.
massive energy spikes in the Project Yappa installation. That can't be good. I suspect our lizard man is returning to the mothership. But it was a joke. Yeah, it's called timing, Procero. Actually, he might be onto something. If there was a launch, that would explain the energy spike. The data we recovered from the tornado core. Espinosa was developing another more advanced mobile weapon. What if he's not under construction? What if he's completed? That was always Oscar's goal, to combine the technology of all three sites. A weapon that can create any kind of storm, anywhere. It's Yapa's final form. Whatever it is, we should probably stop it before it launches. We can't do anything until we deal with the Blizzard Corps protecting Project Yapa. So... What's the play, kid? Lanza, you're in the train. I need you to transport the Storm Chaser to the station at the base of Project Diapa. See, si. Cesar, you and I will take the Storm Chaser into the heart of the blizzard. Then you'll use its equipment to try and find the blizzard core. Once you find it, I take it out. I'll drive. No. Okay. Once the blizzard core is down, we launch the attack. Sargento, you will lead the ground forces. We're taking the tower. You can count on me, Rico. Sheldon. Can you fly a helicopter without crashing it? <laughs> Watch it, kid. You're flying the command chopper. Air Sheldon flies again. Just get Mira to a good vantage point. Mira, do you have the army? Once we've taken the tower, I need you to shut that launch down. We can't let that final core leave this mountain. That will be tricky. Feel like a chopper ride? Could be fun. Project Diapa ends today. What about Espinosa? Espinosa is mine. That would result in unacceptable collateral damage to our Black Hand forces. And I wouldn't even consider this option, but there is a heavily armed rapple at my front door. I can hold the mountain! You have lost every other research facility. The people of Solis are in open revolt for the first time in 500 years. Rodriguez's army of chaos controls the majority of the island. Project Iapa was the culmination of the Espinosa legacy. A priceless technology that could rebuild our family's fortune. The Storm Corps is all that matters now. Do your best. If it is not enough, I will be forced to do my worst. Yes, Senor Rodriguez. Oh, one moment. Just need to fire this off real quick. Bien. You now have my complete attention. 
Sorry I couldn't be there in person. I have an important meeting with your old friends at the agency. The agency you conspired with to murder my father. <sighs> Such a shame. Your father's brilliant work was the foundation on which Project Diapo was built. And as for you, your army's steady advance gave my scientists just the kick in the pants they needed. Rico Rodriguez. Always doing the agency's bidding, whether he knows it or not. So, should I expect a check? Listen, I have a hard stop in a minute, so I'm going to need to put a bow on this. I will find you. No. No, you won't. Everything and everyone on that mountain is about to be decimated by the wrath of a thunder god. Once you're all dead, I'll deliver the storm core to the agency and settle accounts. They are incredibly excited to finally receive delivery of their new toy. Your toy is going nowhere, Espinosa. Hmm. The core finished charging a minute or two before you cut the power. It's launching as we speak. Say hello to your father for me, Rico. Take us down. Rico! It's launching! He's going to kill everyone on this mountain. you to the flight controller, Mira. Hurry! We're locked out. We can't stop the storm. What is your plan, Rodriguez? Gabriela? I'm open to suggestions. Stand by. We're in. I disabled the firewall. I will not sacrifice the lives of my soldiers for that man's pride. But can you stop this storm? Only Espinosa can stop it. Give Rodriguez the flight controls. And he can steer the storm for out to sea. I have a better idea. I told you I'd find you, Oscar. Rodriguez? Your tenacity is commendable. Did my father ever tell you the Rodriguez family motto? It's not something we ever really discussed. Don't fuck with a scorpion. Unless you're prepared to get stung. Wait. Wait, 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 we can make a deal! I mean, you can see why I thought it was aliens. It was a flying saucer, see or not. If I told you about the things we didn't finish... Wait, what? Ay, dígame, dígame. Izzy, get over here. You have to try this. Hey, I'm a vegetarian. But it's real American barbecue. Oh, no, no, son. This isn't real American barbecue. This, this is grilling. Now, the only real barbecue comes from Central Texas. <laughs> Just like me. Don't fuck with the scorpion. Something Espinosa said. My father and I have always been pawns in a larger game. Whether we knew it or not. You think that's true? 
He was. Maybe not in Solis. Well, definitely not in Solis. Destroying Project Yapa must have cost the agency trillions. It always comes back to the agency. That it does. Let's take them down. <laughs> Let's take down the agency. Son of a bitch. All right. I'm in. I'm with you too, Rico. We're with you. We have an army. It's not a bad start. Come on. We'll tell the others in the morning. <laughs>